So I'm here in Maui, just up the street from the Andaz Hotel. It's a husband and wife team. She does the baking, he scratch makes everything, and I'm telling you, everyone talks about it. This is Mateo's Osteria. This food is amazing. You can taste a little bit of old Italy in there. The lamb balsabuco. The lamb balsabuco is like a special treat. The shank is ginormous. The saffron risotto is really good. Not something that you would expect to find in Hawaii. Now what are we making? Braised lamb. We start seasoning with salt and pepper. Oil on a pan. Searing off all searing. the shanks. We're ready to uh, sweat the veggies. A sprig of rosemary, garlic, red wine, bay leaves, tomato sauce, the veal demi, chicken stock. You make that too? Of course, with salt and pepper. Put this liquid in there, cover, and put it in the oven. 275 for three hours. What are we going to serve this with? The saffron risotto. You had me at risotto, pal. <laughs> <laughs> and I got my laugh track over here with these two. Butter, onions, rice. The aborio? Or carnoli or what kind of rice? Carnaroli. Carna... Carnaroli. Carnaroli. I toast the rice before deglazing with a dry white wine. Love it. Let it evaporate uh, the wine. The stock is very important that we add slowly. We don't want to boil the rice. The best way to make a really good risotto is to bring your 24-year-old son in and say, come in here and stir this. Let's go get a glass of wine. Why there did you I go. see that coming from like a mile away? Hey, don't blow this. Oh, chef, this looks fantastic. Well, I hope we're doing this right. Ah, it's time to add the saffron in the risotto. Keep stirring. This one is uh, 18 minutes. 18 minutes. Let's take a look around. Let's go yeah. see the wine room. Yeah. See, see you guys in a bit. I think they're going to be proud of us. I think so. The final step is the cold butter, Parmesan cheese. Mm, look at that. So this is our shank. You got to be kidding me. The little bit of vegetables, carrots. Brazen liquid, yeah, is the jus. Is this a little gremolata we're finishing this? Oh, yeah. It's a lemon zest, garlic, parsley, a strawberry olive oil, salt and pepper. Gorgeous looking plate. I think I can almost take this apart with my eyes. That is so difficult to watch. <laughs> what is this? Chef, the risotto is perfect, delicious, and creamy. The gremolata is that much needed acidity because you got rich risotto, you got a rich shank. When you get the bite of the shank with the jus, with the risotto, with the butter and the parm, that's the bite. How much longer this is this gonna brutal. last? So mean. Two lamb osobuco in the window. As soon as you see the osobuco come to your table, your mouth starts to water, and it's just amazing. And the risotto is exceptional. All this flavor. How many times have we come in here? Hundreds of times. Hundreds? She's not even kidding. Our answer really is sometimes one. we don't eat here. Takes me right back to Italy.